up everybody welcome back to Austin Armory my name is Eric and thank you for tuning in to today's video today we're gonna be shooting some ballistics gel and testing out some self-defense ammo to see which one is really the best buy for your money before we get into today's video I'd like to thank one of our sponsors Tolster Holster Company if you're looking for a great concealed carry holster be sure to go give them a look they have uh, the contour out and they also have the oath out if you use my link down in the description below and coupon code Austin Armory it should get you 15% off at your checkout so be sure to go Go give them a look and we'll go ahead and get into today's video so in today's lineup we've got some USA ready Winchester defense and we have some Hornady critical defense some Hornady critical duty some sig 365 V crown everyday carry ammunition and we also have some federal premium personal defense I got the ballistic gel set up here this is the 10% and we're gonna go ahead and get to shooting these rounds through it, see what they can do. First up on the list of ammo we're gonna be testing out here is this Hornady Critical Duty. This ammo at muzzle comes out at about 1,010 feet per second. This is 135 grain, so we'll go ahead, load up a couple rounds, put it through this gel and see what it does. All right, we're all loaded up, I've got the Hornady Critical Duty loaded up in my SIG P365. So we'll take a couple shots and see what this thing's capable of. All right. Checking out this wound channel for this 135 grain Hornady critical duty. You can see it, it just ripped right through there, all the way through the block and out the other end. See that nice little wound channel that went right through there? And that just zipped right through. And that was the 135 grain Hornady Critical. Alright, we'll go ahead and check out the next self-defense round, see what it does. Alright, now we're loaded up with some Winchester USA Ready. It is 124 grain plus P. We're going to check it out, see if it goes all the way through the block just like the Hornady Critical Duty did. All right, you can see with that Winchester USA Ready, it had a much larger wound channel from the get-go, but it did not have enough velocity to make it go through the other side. So you can see it ballooned up real nice right there. Well, okay, we'll go ahead and try out the next one. Next up, we're going to try some of this Federal Premium here. It is a 124 grain and it's Hydroshock. So we'll put this through there, see what it does compared to the others. Let's check it out. Alright, next up we've got some SIG Everyday Carry Ammunition 365 V-Crown and it says it's optimized for superior performance in short barrels. So this paired with my 365, we'll see how it does. And this, it looks like it is 115 grain. So a little bit less than some of the others we've been shooting. But we'll go ahead and give this a try, see what it does. Let's 
it's super interesting on this one you can see the very bottom here the entrance wound ripped right through it and then if you can see that it went down deflected off the table and then straight out still looking like so far only one there's only been one to mushroom inside of this not quite as big a wound channel as some of the others but again it's still zipped right through it so interesting all right last up here we got some hornady critical defense this is 115 grain and it looks like out of the muzzle is traveling at 1135 feet per second so this is our last one here and we'll give it a test and see if it blows out the back like almost all the others did. Oh, there you go. Looks like we got a mushroom here. Shot down to the very bottom, and it looks like again it bounced off that table and mushroomed out there. Well, that's our last one to test out. So maybe time to mag dump it. So of all the ones we've tested out, it looks like every single one of them had enough velocity to go through the ballistics gel, except for the Hornady. Of all the ones you've seen today, tell me which one you think would be the best in a self-defense situation. I know with a self-defense situation, I wouldn't want something that penetrated too far, but I would also want something that penetrated in enough. I didn't bring my tape measure out here, but if I had to guess, I'd say that these Hornady critical defense ones are landing right anywhere in the 13 14 inch range so some pretty good uh results there it looks like those mushrooms dropped pretty good Well, that's it for today, guys. Thank you again for checking out today's video. If you're not already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments down below what you thought of today's video, and we'll see you next time.